You may already know that the Mint Museum is one of the best reviewed attractions in Charlotte, according to TripAdvisor, Yelp, Google, Facebook, and all those other places that collect museum reviews. But what you may not know is that another town of ours is not taking ourselves too seriously. Inspired by Jimmy Kimmel, our staff decided to read through a few of those mean tweets and reviews that can creep in from time to time. Only two cases of coins in the whole museum? I thought Mint Museum meant historical money. The majority of the museum looked like a regular museum of artwork. I guess it would be better with just all coins. The Randolph location is worse unless you're into dishes. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually beautiful pottery and our curators would hate that comment. <laughs> The Randolph location is worse unless you're into dishes. Dude, my mom's really into dishes. We do have a lot of dishes at Randolph. I thought the atrium was more like a basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> my wife remarked to me that this was a women's museum and I am inclined to agree. No, we are gender neutral. Like, I don't even know what that means. Dudes are welcome, like, come on guys. <laughs> they should have stayed where the old museum was. Charlotte will never be as good as Atlanta if they continue to do dumb things like this. <laughs> I don't know. Atlanta's all right, I guess. Okay, Woody, go to Atlanta then. Well, if you didn't notice, I'm standing in the old museum. We never left since like the 1920s. I like Discovery Place better. Not looking at art and the old stuff. <laughs> Brutal. I'll take your word for it that the exhibition was good. Looks like a few mannequins to me. Hey, there's gowns on those mannequins, man. They're not just, all oh, right. If I were to make a recommendation of an artist the Mint Museum needs, it would be Dale Chihuly. <laughs> this reason obviously didn't look up. <laughs> but thank you. That's, we'll work on that. I love this recommendation. Uh, we already have his artwork, but it'd be really cool to have Dale himself here. I like that. The turquoise and white mint sticker, requisite for attendees, left a lightly adherent sticky mess. We are not delighted. This sticker right here, because guess what? You could put it on your hand, you could put it on your brochure, you could even wear it on your forehead. This is not a pet friendly museum. No, it's not. Neither is it a zoo. <laughs> Why would you bring your... I wonder what kind of pet they brought. Like all the other museums where pets are allowed. <laughs> this is not a pet-friendly museum. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> One star well deserved. <laughs> we really want you to have a great time and find something to inspire you when you visit. That's why we all work here. We hope you'll consider giving to our annual fund, becoming a member, or upgrading your membership by June 30th so you can join our fund and help us increase our access to the global community. We hope you'll come back soon with your whole family, except your pets. Sorry.